everyone so today's video is going to be a summer related video and I'm really excited about it because I tried to film this video last summer when I was down the shore and my laptop has since broke but was not really working well and I couldn't edit it or even get the footage from my laptop to a regular computer to edit it so I just never even bothered uploading it so I'm really excited to be doing it this year um and I'm just gonna like point out a couple things one is my hair looked really cute this morning in like this top knot. I went to the doctor, it was raining outside, all this stuff. I kind of just pinned what I could down. But if there's like little hairs popping up and it just looks a mess, that's just how my life is going right now and we're just going to go with it. I'm also not affiliated or sponsored by any products I'm mentioning in this video. I've just been using some of these products for years or just trying them out now and I love them so that's what I use. And then the other thing I wanted to mention um, just briefly was that I did mention I was going to be doing vlogs this summer and last year I did it up until like the very last week. Like I think I had like one more week left of vlogs. Um, and I decided not to continue because we had gotten into a car accident and like I just couldn't get through the footage from those couple of days but this year I was planning on doing vlogs again um, I already made the intro and everything I did mention it in my past two videos I believe but I just wanted to say before I even begin if anybody like even watches my vlogs um, or is subscribed to my vlog channel as well and or if you want to go subscribe to it um, I'm only going to be putting up some vlogs in August. I'm not going to be vlogging every day because I am going to be going away again, but I will not have the luxury of having a laptop to edit. Um, if I had bought my laptop before I left, that would be ideal for making videos, but then I would have no money for when I went away, so that's kind of not a good thing. So I'm just going to go and if I have any footage that I want to edit from my phone or my camera, I'm going to send it to my iPad and I have iMovie on there. It's not going to be anything good, but hey, it's a video, but we'll see. We'll just play it by ear with everything going on right now. I just don't think I'll be vlogging like I did last summer. I know I won't. So we'll see how it goes, but I just wanted to put like a little thing out there because I know I said I was going to be doing vlogs, and now I'm not and it sucks, but just not in the cards this year. So this video is going to be what's in my beach bag and I'm super excited about it. Um, and I'm just gonna like say first that I have like two bags that I use as my beach bag. This bag has always been like my go-to and I feel really bad because I don't know where it's from. It's like ripping at the bottom. It's so old, but it's really big and kind of has not like a, has like a magnetic thing at the top here that you can like, whatever. Um, and then inside this one, I just have this little makeup bag that I'll put stuff in. I'll show you guys. Like, I put a bunch of things in little makeup bags. That way, you know, it doesn't get everything separated and organized and everything doesn't get sand in it. But lately, I've been using this other bag, which is smaller, and I'm not really happy about it. I'm bringing both of those to the beach, but depending on the day and what I'm bringing, those are the two bags that I use. This bag is actually from Sally's Beauty Supply. I got it free with um, the purchase of a bunch of one and only argan oil products. I use a lot of hair color from them for clients and myself sometimes and I get a lot of their products. So because I guess I bought so much, I got this bag for free, which was really cool. I'm just going to hop on in to what's in the bag um, and just get started because there's kind of a lot, I feel like. But the first little bag inside my beach bag is this bag right here from Victoria's Secret. It's super cute. It says Victoria's Secret on one side and beach on the other. I'm apologizing for the sound of the train every like freaking five seconds and <laughs> thunder because it's thunderstorming out and there was just no good time to film so I'm sorry. So in this bag I have all of my suntan lotions, tanning oil, stuff for my hair, stuff like that like beach beauty products. I'm just gonna pull it out and show you guys as I go. The first thing I have is this Sunkissed Blonde Lemon Highlights Highlight Activating Citrus Oil Mist from Organics. And I've actually been using this for like two years now and I love it. It's a lot better than using Sun In, which I actually don't have in my bag right now. Sun In usually turns your hair orange because of all the chemical in it. I mean, some people's hair are like pulls orange, so that may be just like what happens to your hair. But this is a little bit more natural um, and not so much chemical because it's from organics their stuff is organic and all natural so I see better results with that and I like to just spray it that way like I don't have to get my 
base touched up in the summer I just kind of like let it get lighter and then the next thing is the Hawaiian Tropic tanning lotion sunscreen and this one is SPF 4 I also have one that's F SPF 6 but I'm trying to use this up do not recommend <laughs> using SPF 4 <laughs> but um, it says it's water resistant, skin nourishing, and exotic island botanicals, blah blah blah. I absolutely love Hawaiian Tropic products. My next thing is the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Face Oil Free Sunscreen, and this one's SPF 30. My face burns so much easier than the rest of my body, so I got this specifically like hydrating sunscreen for my face because sometimes I feel like sunscreens will dry out my face so I got this one which is specifically for the face and it's kind of like a moisturizer so I'll just put that one on like every morning before I go to the beach okay this is the Hawaiian Tropic dark tanning oil SPF 6 this one is water resistant as well I definitely love using tanning oil on a day when it's not so hot um, and the UV is not so strong um, on other days I'll just use sunscreen and whatever but if I feel like I can go out in the Sun and I won't get super burnt um, I'll use the tanning oil if that makes sense like I know when my body feels like it's getting burnt so if I'm sitting out there and I feel like oh I think I'm okay I'll put some on I don't know if that makes sense but that's just what I do and then the other oh the other hair product I have is the dry bar uh, original formula Mai Tai spritzer which is a sea salt spray this is from my job and it's a mini version um, like a little travel version which is awesome because it just sticks in my bag this is awesome for when you come out of the ocean and it'll give your hair some textures my hair dries pretty straight um, normally but it tends to dry more wavy most of the time so this will give it like some nice texture so it'll get wavy um, and I kind of just scrunch it up and leave it and that's what I do when I'm at the beach with my hair um and then <laughs> this seems really stupid but in the summer even in my purse like my everyday purse um I carry around <laughs> bug spray every single day because the bugs are so 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 bad in the summer um but even at the beach some days if the wind is going like the wrong way I forget how it works but if the wind is going the wrong way the bugs from the bay, like the horse flies, like the biting flies, will come from the bay on the beach side. And there's days where we just don't go to the beach because of the flies. But I always have it in my regular purse, so I got a mini one for my beach bag. It's the Cutter Skin Stations in Insect Repellent with Aloe and Vitamin E in it. And it smells like lemon. It's awesome. And it doesn't, like, feel like make you greasy or anything like that really and I guess the last like little product I have in here is the Hawaiian Tropic lip balm and this is SPF 45 like I said my face burns a lot easier than the rest of my body my face and like right here like this always just gets burned and never gets a color <laughs> um, and my lips as well they will get so red and swollen and itchy and it's horrible so I always use a um, lip balm chapstick with SPF in it it's really important to like protect your lips too Okay, and for hair, I have this wide tooth comb. I believe I got this from Avon like years ago. It's one of those ones that can like hang in the shower. But I just have that in there for when my hair was longer. It was a lot easier to use the comb now that it's shorter. It's not so, I don't know, I find it easier when I use like a regular brush. So I'm inserting a picture right here, but I'm literally going to be purchasing this before I go to the beach. At my job, Dry Bar, we have our own brushes. We have a regular size and a mini size. They're comparable to the wet brush, but because I work at Dry Bar and I get a discount, I'm going to be buying the Dry Bar brush. They have a mini one, so I'm going to get the mini wet brush to stick in my little beach bag here. I thought that was perfect because it helps detangle uh, very easily without getting stuck and it goes through so smooth. So I just figured I'd get that. Okay, the next little baggie I have, if any of you watch my vlog channel, you'll remember this bag. I specifically got it last year to go to the beach as my makeup bag, but it was like too small to actually be a makeup bag. I got this at Five Below, yeah, I guess like last summer before I went away. Super cute. It says Beach Please, and it has like a little beach on it. Um, and I use this bag to hold things like my phone, which is charging over there so it's not in here right now um, but just to like hold certain things that I don't want to get oily from all the products but I don't want to leave loose in my bag so I don't get wet or sand on them and that would be things like my sunglasses so these are from Payless I think they were literally like 12 or 15 bucks they've cheated put on the side they're rose gold aviators and it's really hard for me because I have a tiny face to find sunglasses that aren't too big on my head 
so I really like these because they like fit my face shape nice. I'll carry like a little coin purse. This one's from Veer Bradley. Um, and I'll just have some cash in there and like my ID and all that just so I have it in case we walk somewhere to go eat or something happens. God forbid they need to identify me if I get attacked by a shark. I don't even know. I'm kidding. Who knows? I'd be able to survive a shark attack though. I say that all the time. Um, and then I also have gum because I have gum or mints in like every single bag I own too. That's just something I always carry. Not that I need gum at the beach, but hey, who knows? Um, I have this little speaker. I forget where my mom got this one. It was me and my sister's. I kind of just hang on to it though because none of them use it. Um, and I just charge this like every night with my phone and then when it's time to go to the beach the next day it's fully charged and it's Bluetooth so it kind of just connects to my phone that way. I always have headphones, the old kind, the good kind that actually fit in your ear because I don't like the new kind, it doesn't fit in my ear. So I have those in there. And then the last thing is this, oh I hate that sound. <laughs> The last thing is this portable charger from Five Below. This thing is awesome. It was $5, but I went and literally bought my friends each one of these um, because they were so good. It has my name on it too, so nobody steals it. Um, but you just plug it in. I'm not going to plug it in because once you plug this in, it turns on. Don't ask me why. But you plug it into here and then plug it into your phone and it's going to blink until it's done charging or it dies. Um, but I've had this thing fully charged, went, to, um, went out with my friends one night and it charged me and my friends phones completely in under an hour and then it still had a little bit of juice in there to like charge something else like a little bit more. So that was really cool. But yeah, that's what this bag is. I just thought it was a good idea to like stick all that stuff in here separately because I don't want it like getting wet or sandy or anything like that, especially like the cords and all that stuff. So that's what I have there. I usually have a beach towel. This one's huge. Usually I don't have one this huge. This one I don't remember where it's from. I only have like three towels and like, no, I have four or five towels and two of them are from Rite Aid. Literally, I just get whatever's comfy and cozy. And sometimes I will just throw a hat in my bag as well. Um, if my face is really burnt or if I can't find my sunglasses, things like that. Um, but usually just like a baseball hat, whether I wear it or not. Um, and sometimes if I'm really feeling fancy, um, one of those big floppy sun hats. And then the last thing that I'd have in my bag would be plenty of water. Um, so you don't pass out. You want to stay hydrated when you're in the sun and probably snacks. So I'll either pack myself like little snack bags or some fruit or like chips or something. Usually we'll go get lunch or we'll go back to the house in the middle of the day to get lunch. But um, I'll normally pack myself a snack because I'm always eating. Um, and these bags are really awesome. They're both lined with, uh, I don't even know what it is, but they're both like lined where your stuff would still stay cool inside. So that's really good. And then the only other thing I bring to the beach, which is not in here, um, it's out on my front porch right now, um, I'll insert a picture, is my beach chair, which I literally got at Rite Aid for $9 because I got it half off because I have a Rite Aid card. Love Rite Aid. And a beach blanket, which I have from Victoria's Secret. Those are the only other things, but those are not in my beach bag. But just in case you guys were wondering, I'll carry my beach bag, my chair, and then my beach blanket. I like lay over my chair, so I always have it there. But yeah, that is what is in my beach bag. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed the video. Comment down below if there's anything that you guys keep in your beach bag that's different from what I keep in my beach bag because I'm kind of curious. And I'm also paranoid, like, if I go somewhere, like, to the beach, I don't want to be walking back and forth to the house, like, if I forgot something. So I'm kind of curious to know what you guys keep in your beach bag. But yeah, I hope you guys really liked this video. I'm excited I finally did, like, a summer video. Last summer, I did a summer waterproof makeup tutorial, which I will link in the description below as well as right here. And yeah, if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, um, subscribe and like this video and comment down below what you thought and stuff like that. And hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Put your party dress on, standing.